How are you doing everyone? What I have here today is a Dunlop SX300 Lite. It's the first time I'm stringing this racket. The color combination looks pretty cool. I see it's got the Prince um, Spin Boost uh, grommet design. It's got these arrows uh, marking the, um, the indicating which way the uh, the grommet is supposed to help the string uh, move about creating extra spin like this one has an upward up and downward uh, arrow and this one has a leftward spin and leftward arrow this opposite one has a rightward uh, arrow pointed rightward so that's kind of interesting I've seen it reviewed before um, like a year or a couple of years ago this particular one is from a um, 10 or 11 year old boy. So I don't know if it's a junior model, I didn't measure it. It says here in the throat that it's a 16 by 19 string pattern. 270 gram on string on strong swing weight. 33 centimeter balance. 27 inch, that's the length. Oh, 100 square inch head size. So, without further ado, let's get it strung up. They're going with. Um, it had some kind of uh, synthetic gut on it. I'll include a picture somewhere here. kind of synthetic gut with silver metallic reflective spiral patterns so here it is I don't know if you can see silver <clears throat> metallic spirals on top of um, kind of a transparent or a clear clear color Seems like these the strains go in a spiral, but the stiffness stiffness wise feels like uh, synthetic gut, and I do see that the cross section looks kind of uh, like a mono mono core nylon in the middle. But uh, I've recommended the customer use a uh, multi filament. Thought that that would be a good upgrade. Be able to bring him more comfort and hopefully a little bit more durability. Uh, most of filaments hold tension very well all the way up until the point of breaking. It'll flake off as it wears but it holds tension because it basically has a lot of strings you know hundreds of it's got to be at least a hundred or two you know a thin nylon string bundled up or bundled up in the middle so it's very elastic and uh, you know stretches and it returns to its original shape rather well uh, I'm gonna string it at 51 pounds with a 10% pre-stretch basically I'm trying to find the two ends so I can Hold the whole thing in half and cut it right down the middle. One half of it I will use for the mains and the other half for the crosses. I will go wrap it around my basement pole and I will use my body weight to give it a give it a uh, gentle pull with my body weight. The string is kind of rather smooth so I have to wrap it around wrap it around my hand at least a couple counts times. Okay. This racket has six grommets in the throat. So I'm gonna go ahead and through the throat first.
Um, so if anybody knows what kind of string came off of this racket, please comment below. It's still a mystery to me. I put it in on the uh, Unstrung Heroes forum on Facebook to look for the other expert stringers' uh, opinions. Any stringers' opinions, if they've seen the string, something seem to think that it's uh, a head rip cord because the original picture that I post on there seems to show a clear string with black ribbon or black spirals on it. It wasn't until I, I got the actual racket because that picture was originally sent to me from the customer. It was texted to me so it was some kind of uh, picture didn't didn't turn out to go too good. The spirals are actually silver metallic color. I don't know if it shows through the uh, this video, but they're silver metallic spirals. Some others have also indicated or commented that uh, they think it's prints. Or uh, yeah, prints. Uh, sin got door flex. Something that it, some people think that it's called a Prince uh, Lightning String. So I don't know. Googled up a bunch of strings, and um, but I, that was before I realized uh, the spiral was silver. So now that I know it's actually silver, I guess I can Google up some more pictures just to make sure. But if you've seen this this string and you're pretty sure of what it is, please uh, let us know. Thank you very much. I didn't have my clamp all the way up. Let me check for the tension right away. Okay. So for the seventh string we we'll skip the seven grammar hole both bottom and at the top.
one, so we're skipping the ninth grommet hole. Both top and bottom. So this racket takes main skips at seven and nine. Tie up, not tension. Tighten it off in the eighth drum hole. Start with our crosses. Seven, nine, ten, eleven. I'm starting my crosses from the eleventh ground hole. I want to plan on which grommet hole I'm going to tie off on to make sure the tie off grommet hole doesn't look damaged in any way. Since I'm starting on this side of the racket, I know that I'm starting on this side of the racket with the third cross string. So I know that when I go back, back up to the second cross string and then the first cross string, it'll come around and tie off is going to be on this side opposite of me. My pull, making my first pull from the second cross. Tighten up uh, my clamp just a little bit.
So what tension do you normally recommend for kids um, around 10, 11 years old who has uh, perhaps just transitioned to um, an adult racket? Let me know. I think 51 pounds is appropriate. Maybe it's on the high side. But uh, this is, I'm putting soft string on it so I don't think it's too high. because the kid is so young, definitely don't want to go overboard. If it was an adult, I'd recommend between 50 to 60, no problem. If he wants to go 58, I'd string it at 58 for them. He or she, but since it's a, it's a kid, um, I would do it on the lower end of things. That's not a good spot for the tie off. Let me pick another one. Yeah, this is much better. Go right next door. This will give the least amount of tension loss because the string doesn't have to travel on the outside that far to get to the tie off hole since it's just right next door. Tied off, I can continue with my fourth cross. I think this yellow color multifilament matches uh, his frame pretty well. I wish I have a Dunlop stencil, I will put on the stencil uh, logo, Dunlop logo for him, but I have bunch of other ones, just not the Dunlop one. I have um, Yannick, Wilson, um, Babla, Yannick, Wilson, Babla, oh, a head, a head. Come to think, I have strong few downloads so far so perhaps I should uh, pick up a stencil but then normally I don't I won't stencil it it depends it depends if I feel that the customer is somebody who doesn't care about how the string performs who's a total beginner who only cares about a certain string color how you know how cool the string looks I will ask them if they would like me to stencil it Give them a free stencil. They usually take the offer. Um, how about you? Do you um, only do it as a pay service for stenciling, or do you do it for free? I mean, it does. It does take like an extra 10, 20 minutes, believe it or not. Even though it only takes a few minutes to put on the ink, then I gotta I gotta blow a dry with. Uh, Air dryer, I can't give it back to the customer right away. If I ha happen to have a customer who's waiting for his racket right away, then I gotta spend the extra 10 15 minutes just to make sure the ink dries before I put it in the plastic bag to give it to him. Last thing I need is to hand somebody a racket with a, a wet wet stencil ink and then he gets all over his, his clothing. I mean, I do I do put them in a plastic bag for that reason, but you know, the ink is so wet, it could get messed up just by the plastic touching it. Or when he, when he goes and take it out with his finger, or uh, he takes it out and starts playing it right away. That ink is gonna get nasty, it's gonna get Get onto the tennis ball. His tennis partner's gonna love him. Then.
hole is really tiny. I'm guessing that this racket has only been strung once. All the grommets are still as tight as the original. Tip is out, but just can't quite pull it out. Let's try this again. That's better. When in doubt, cut a fresh, uh, cut another fresh tip and try it again. And the last string with extra 15% tile tension added onto it before I pull that. Just want to check for any misweaves. If there's any I play some tennis out there in the nice 60 degree weather this afternoon man I didn't last more than a set I barely won the first set in the tiebreaker and I said to my I said to uh, Carmine, I said, uh, I'm sorry, I don't think I can play another one. It's, it's just too brutal out there. The humidity was about like 50 something, 60%. So that, that humidity added with the high temperature, it just, it's grueling. criticizes me saying I just can't multitask. <laughs> I just proved that. I can't talk and do things at the same time. Alright, now I can stick it through the tie-off hole wherever it is. It's up against my tie off grommet, so I have to move it. Move it one teeth away. So I have, I have room to tie it off. Doesn't always happen like this, but I mean, that's why I tried one of these side grommets to see if I could tie it off. Like those, but I don't want to travel, have the string travel too far away either. That loses tension just as, as much as uh, moving the clamp away.
done. Thank you very much for watching. I will go ahead and give him a free overgrip. Well, that's a free uh, tempener as a good gesture for uh, the customer appreciation. Thank you very much for watching. I shall catch you next time. Take it easy.